Now that we've got all of this information from full body 3D, the risk calibration, uh, ground reaction forces, let's start to take a look through it and see what does and what doesn't change when it comes to our body movement and ground forces. And I know for me, the, the first thing I want to look at, whether I'm thinking about it as a player or as a coach, is I want to see, do I have any gross motor pattern changes? So if I do, that would be something that would caution me from using this in season. So, you know, here's my, uh, here you can take a look at it. This is, this is pretty much my golf swing. Um, not much, you know, not much has really changed there over the years. Um, working on having a little less early extension, trying to slow closure rate down a bit. Now, if we take a look at kinematic sequence, you know, it's, uh, it's all right. Obviously, you know, lower body's coming out a little bit later, but it's, yeah, it's served me pretty well over the years. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer in here one of these golf swings with the super speed. And you can see here even, you know, we faked the club so it looks a little bit longer. But let's, uh, let's take a look and see what this looks like here. All right. You know, it doesn't really look all that different to the naked eye. Now, let's go in and take a look at our kinematic sequence. Now we know that the speeds will be a little bit different, right? So if we look at peak speeds and impact, we can definitely see with the super speed. I had an extra, let's see, who was that? About uh, 275 degrees per second of rotation of the club at impact. If I look at that lead arm peak, we can see in here my lead arm gets going about 50 degrees per second faster. We get back over here, definitely got more speed with the rib cage. So I, I think that's really cool. Everything is going faster, but it's moving in the exact same pattern. And as a coach, that helps me know that speed will be functional instantly. So we can go forward in absolute confidence that this isn't going to have any detrimental effect on our players' control and timing.